Welcome back to another amazing Bunny News video in school year. I'm so sad that this is our last year of Bunny News. Me too, but at least we have this year. Anyways, let's start this episode off with spectacular lunches. Let's roll! Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to lunches. Monday, grilled cheese, tomato soup, California bread, peas, pears, and milk. milk. Tuesday, barbecue chicken sandwich, green beans, fries, rosy applesauce, and milk. Wednesday, meatballs, mashed potatoes, broccoli, mixed fruit, dinner roll, and milk. Thursday, grilled chicken patty, bun, baked beans, veggies, dip, tropical fruit, and milk. Friday, pizza, lettuce, salad, corn, banana, and milk. Yummy! The thing I miss the most about school is definitely the awesome lunches. Yeah, I have so much energy now. Hey, maybe we could go do a race and burn some of it off. Alright, let's run! Welcome back to Racing with Kylie and KJ. Today we have Marshall and Ava and Kyler and Jalen. They'll be there from uh, this way over to the middle of the court and back. segment is next. I'm pretty sure it's Where is Grace? Oh yeah. Let's go try to find Grace. Okay, this is a new segment called Where is Grace. You guys are going to have to try to guess where I am. This is how you win Where is Grace. While you're watching Where is Grace, you write on a piece of paper where you think I am in the school and then give it to your teacher. Your teacher will give it to Miss Nichols and then next week in the segment I'll tell you who the winner is. Now you guys have to try to guess where I am. This is the second location. You guys have to guess where I am now. This is the last location. Try to guess where I am. Jeez, Grace is very good at hiding. Yeah, I couldn't figure out where she hid. Well, anyways, let's bake with Chloe. I hope she'll surprise us with some great food. Let's cruise on to Chloe's cooking. Welcome to Chloe's Cooking. Today we are going to be making no-bake cookie dough balls. Your utensils will be a bowl to mix them in, a spatula, a Tupperware to put them in when you're done, and that's all for your utensils. And for your um, ingredients, you're going to need two sticks of butter, that's one cup for me, one and a half cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, and two cups of flour, and six ounces of mini chocolate chips. You're going to want to soften your butter so put it in the microwave for one minute. Also, make sure your hands are washed. Mine are already. In the microwave for one minute. Then you're going to want to pour your butter into a bowl. Next is one and a half cup of brown sugar. So for me, I have a half, one half. You're going to, I'm going to need three cups. And then you might want to have a butter knife to make sure it's level. And three. 
And then you're going to need two cups of flour. That's six of these for me. And then you're going to need six ounces of mini chocolate chips. And then you're going to mix them. Sometimes if they're a little dry, you can add a little splash of milk. We'll see how many. And for me, I'm going to put mine in a Tupperware, so I'm going to use parchment paper. Take like about that much, and you're going to put them into balls. And they should look like that when you're done. When you're done rolling them into balls, then you're going to put them in the fridge. If you want them to go faster and you want to eat them earlier, you can put them in the freezer. But just make sure you come back and get them. And then you're just going to keep on rolling them into balls until you're done. And that's how you make no big cookie dough balls. That sounds good. I am 100% trying this at home. Same, but enough food. Have you went to any football games yet? Yes, and it is so fun to watch. What was the score? I don't know. I forgot. Well, you know who didn't forget? Who? Cameron? Yep, let's go see how the rabbits are doing. Welcome back to sports. It has been a long summer, but now we're back. Varsity football played against McCray and lost 7-47. to Then they lost to RTR 21-7. to Next, they played against Sleepy Eye United and lost 26-0. to Varsity volleyball played at YME and they won 3-0. to zero. Then they beat Lakeview 3-0. to zero. On the 5th, they lost to Minnesota 3-0. to zero. Next, they beat SESM 3-1, to one. and then they had a tournament in Montevideo, and they went 2-2 two and two and got 4th place. Next, they played Cedar Mountain, and they won 3-1, to one. and then they beat New Alum Cathedral 3-0. <coughs> to zero. Then they had a tournament in Wabasso, and they got 2nd place and went 3-2. and two. Next, they played against GFW, and they won 3-0. to zero. 
Cross country had a handful of meets. Elsie Leopold placed in a lot of junior high meets, and girls varsity got eighth place in the recent meet. That's all for sports. See ya! The rabbits are doing great so far. I know, right? I think it's time for wacky weather. I wonder what's coming to town now. I hope it's not a tomato tornado. Welcome, Welcome back to Wacky weather. weather. Today we have a special pointer. Drum roll, please. The pointer's <laughs> name is Ayla. Disclaimer, this is all fake. Monday, it will be a heat wave of waffles and syrup. That will be a sticky mess. Tuesday, it'll hurricane people and chicken fingers. Wednesday, it will be a wind that's so bad that trees will come out of the ground. Thursday, it's going to be sunny with a chance of raining passports. Friday, it will be a tide wave of books. What? Yeah. Well, bye. bye. Those were some wacky weathers. Yeah, they were. Do you know what this week is? No. It's homecoming week! I'm so excited. I can't wait for these dress-up days with Brooke and Mallory. Let's go! Welcome to homecoming dress-up days and activities with Brooke and Mallory. Monday, class color day. Wear your purple. Tuesday, male school is being rhymed without reason. Elementary is we sports day. I'm Derry. And I'm Fairy. Thursday, Barbie and Ken. Wednesday, hunting slash USA. Okay, we'll Friday, Friday, Spirit Day. On Saturday the 30th, the color run starts at 8 a.m. The parade starts at noon. Meal in the park afterwards. High school football game at 3. Go, Go Rabbit! This year at the Pet Fest, we're going to be doing the battle cry. Here's an example of what it sounds like. Elementary, elementary, don't be shy. Let's stand up and hear your battle cry. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. That's our elementary battle cry. Fifth and sixth grade say you're great and so saying elementary. I'm hyped for homecoming, especially the dress up days. Yeah, my favorite part is all the activities. I'm glad that Molly and Brooke had that segment to remind us. I probably would have forgot what to wear. I would have too. Well, I suppose it's about that time. Already? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see you all next week. Peace!